Dave from Dasher Brass LLC here. Uh, a couple things I've been working on I kind of wanted to show a preview of. Uh, these will be up on my website shortly. Uh, shooting matches, uh, chamber flags are a must. I've, I use them. There's a, a couple of companies that make some really nice chamber flags that fit in. Uh, show the guns safe and clear that we use a lot in uh, PRS matches. The 22 flags, though, there's a lot of different styles of them. You can get styles like this. Uh, and these work pretty well. Um, I got a couple of these that I've bought from a couple companies, and they can put their logo and stuff on them, which is cool. Um, but a lot of them end up getting dropped and lost. They fall out of the gun. They don't stay in the chamber. It's kind of one of the problems with the 22. So what I've been working on is a new type of flag. This is 3D printed from PLA. It's orange plastic. Um, it's pretty strong. It, there's some flexibility to it, so it's not easy to break. Um, and a couple of flags. Now these these have been prototyping. I'm going to give out during one of the matches coming up on the 21st at Frontline Defense. And they got my company logo in it. Just a little bit of advertising so I can get my name out there a little bit more. Um, this is the actual prototype here. And it's similar to what some of the centerfire guns use. Um, let me show you how this works here. And as you can see there's a couple of uh, different trays I've been working on here. Different caliber markings. Um, I'm, I'm trying out different print styles to see what works best, so more of those to come soon. Uh, these I already have up on my website. These ones will be up on my website shortly, as you can see. I've got quite a, quite a few of them already produced. So, here's my CZ match gun. We know it's clear and safe. Go ahead and put it on safe. We're going to stick this in the chamber itself. It slides right in, and it's easy to show that the chamber is now empty. The nice thing with this is you can push the bolt home, you just bring this up and wrap it around the bolt. Now what that does is that keeps it steady and it can still come out of the chamber, but it has a harder time doing that. But if you're running a scoped rifle, you just wrap this around. This keeps the bolt forward, pressure on the flag and making sure that it's empty. This has a nice chamber flag here to show that the gun is actually empty and safe. Um, so hopefully these will work out real well. Uh, this is the prototype, like I said, this elastic cord is in white. I've got black coming. Uh, that's primarily to keep it down because when you're dealing with a rifle and matches, you got dirt and stuff and it will show the dirt on there. So this is the prototype. These will be available soon on my website. Uh, it's dasherbrass.com. Um, I'm also working on a couple of prototypes for uh, follower kits and magazine kits to run 6BR, 6 Dasher, 6 PPC, 6.5 Grindel, and other stuff out of AICS mags. And primarily what I'm working on is making a follower kit that will run in the Magpul uh, AICS mag. So you have an inexpensive mag that runs really well with a short cartridge like 6BR, 6mm Dasher. So more to come. Just a little preview of what I've been working on. So you'll be able to find these soon at DasherBrass.com. Thanks for watching.